And thanks for watching our um, Trash Fest special on February 19th, 2023. So we're going through um, the um, GFS ensembles for the so wind on on um, weatherwithschool.com. We're going to ecmwf.int for the ECM ensembles for the so winds. Um, we're using the CFS that's at, um, metoseal.fr um, to see if that's playing with the idea of, um, you know, having something cold in March or April as a result of the warming. And finally, we're doing the GFS, same website, um, and um, using it to forecast the um, temperatures as an HPA. But um, I'm now shifting the focus to um, the zero winds and the models, simply because that they will um, dictate um, and, you know, well, the, well, the um, models di dictate whether we'll see cold or not. But the um, strength of the um, the winds will sort of um, raise the chances, if you see what I mean. So weaker winds um, raise the chances of the models um, showing cold. Anyway, that was a bit um, long, long winded. Anyway, back to the video. So, so GFS ensembles weather was cool for ten HPA. The winds. Um, let's just zoom in a bit more. You can see. Um, I'll just go through it very quickly again. Blue lines, the blue line is where we have been with the wind over the season so far. So, um, about average through to October and November. Going a bit, um, arrive sort of a bit off average f from time to time through December. In January, we go above average, then we drop it at the end of January from minor warming, raise it again into February. Now we're dropping it into reversal. And right now, we're on the way up, out of um, reversal. And now the GFS ensembles um, are forecasting us to lift out of reversal temporarily, just very temporarily, before we drop back into reversal, um, then up, out of reversal, then down back into reversal, um, and then we keep it reverse, I think, for quite a while into March. Um, now, I'm going to show you a chart in a second, that may um, sort of show you the, f the idea of a triple reversal of the zona wind at an HPA. Um, I just hope I have it correct that this is a triple reversal because um, double reversals are very rare. That's not in triple reversals. I've never heard of a triple reversal of the zona wind in my life, despite it not being such a long life, but I I've never heard of it yet. Um, and people are, are saying that Double reversals are really very very rare, so um, this may be a triple reversal, I've no idea. But either way, if this comes off, or even a double double reversal that we know will come off, um, it's gonna help us get coals, whether in some shape or form, either just, you know, moderately cold, um, mid summer districts by day, frosty nights, winter showers, which is what I'm betting for at this stage, what I'm favouring, not betting, because it's too early to bet anything. Um, or we go severely cold, um, which I think th there's a smaller chance of that, but the chance is still there. And obviously, the weaker the zone of winds, the, um, the greater the chance of us getting calls. Um Now, this chart, um, I showed this yesterday as well, but I'll just go through it again. Um, it shows all the layers of the atmosphere on the y-axis um, from 1 to 1,000 HPA and the dates on the bottom from today till March 6th and you can see the zero wind strengths in each part of the atmosphere on all, all, on these um, different days. Um, now, focus on, on 10 HPA. We're, we're currently in a reversal of zero winds we keep it reverse until um, down here, um, Tuesday I think at twelve o'clock, or actually Wednesday at midnight because that's twelve o'clock and that's twelve o'clock. Um, then on um, Thursday I think that is, yet yeah, Thursday, we, we we go to reversal again. In this um, bluer shading here, then we nearly we nearly um, unreverse the the winds. 
on um, Sunday at midnight. And we, we go into a strong reversal again into um, early March and late February. So this may well be a triple reversal of these of the zero wins. I think it's very rare for this to happen. But it's only co- coming up on today's runs. So it may just be um, a once-off glitch of the models. I'm not sure. But it's quite strange and exciting that it's coming up today. And also, um, one thing you want to watch out for is the blues coming through the atmosphere, which is the troposphere, which is like 300 HBA downwards. They're staying above 30 HBA. So this um, this chart doesn't favour cold weather at all. It, it, it actually doesn't favour it at all. So um, we need these blues to sink right through and get rid of the yellows, because the yellows show... Um, positive zero winds which means westerly winds and if we slide across this is the same chart but just of anomalies to average um red is above average blue is below average um look at all that blue it blue in the stratosphere but in the troposphere we're all reddish brownish pinkish whatever you want to call that so that doesn't favor cold weather um ecmwf ensembles um we're currently in this um Dip of the um, we're in the weaker part of the um, of the of the sorry, zonal wind time frame at the moment. Um, we're lifting up through. I think we're out here right now. We're lifting up temporarily. Um, unreverse the um winds. We go back down and reverse these again. This is only showing a double reversal of it, by the way. And then gradually to March, we we lifting we lift things back up. You know, if I could, you know, I'd be rich if I could just, um, every time I, uh, say, reversal of zero wins, or, or just the word reverse in general, get one euro for that, I'd be rich, you know what, just get rich from that instead. Um, anyway, um, this is the CFS run from, say, at, um, 1pm, and I'm just going to scroll through this through March and April, um, and late February as well, and you can see this cold snap coming through next week. Now this isn't related to the warming, it's just um, high pressure randomly ridging in the Atlantic and allowing a, a northerly wind through. Um, Grashy turns a um, bit northeasterly actually in the weekend, a bit easterly even, that'd be quite chilly. Um, then we just move on through into the end of the month and the start of next month. Um, high pressure is right over us, so frost and fog by night, cold and sunny by day, actually possibly even quite pleasant even. Now, now that we're in March, we look like we're about to plunge into a bitterly cold spell, but it doesn't happen because um, high pressure slips into Europe and we push in a uh, mild west west to um, southwesterly winds with a copious amounts of rain. Um, then we push through. Now, I just also, also, also want to say that the CFS isn't the most accurate model in the world. I'm sure that a lot of you will know that. Um, so obviously, don't take it too seriously. It's just partly for fun. We're just searching for a trend at the moment. Is it going for anything cold? Yesterday it did, but, but today I think it's, it's not so, it's not so much on board. Um, it's just, it's um, very wishy-washy at the stage still. Um, so um, a lot of uncertainty attached to these um, CFS runs. Um, we tried something easterly there on March 21st, but um, does that come off? Uh, not, not really. We just get low pressure right over us. Although that would be quite cold. I think that, that the jet stream, jet stream is around here somewhere. We're on the cold side of the jet. And we're sort of bringing in, bringing in an easterly flow. So that may, that may be a bit slightly, slightly wintry. Before we go into the end of March. And we're into the, we're into the mild balmy winds from the southwest again. Start of April. High pressure right over us. Fairly decent. Um, a, bit, a bit more as sort of further northwards. Um, high pressure right over us. April 8th, pretty good. Uh, and that'd be a nice Easter, actually, I think. High pressure over us. And then we try to put in a cooler easterly. Um, we sort of allow one in, especially to the south. Um, I'm just going to skim through this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to run it right through to the end of the month. And we put in the cold northerly winds briefly. Um, then the low, that looks really quite unsettled and cold. Low pressure dives in from the northwest. Um, very unusual to see that, and we go cold and wet, and that is not too late for it to be wintry. It's only late April, 
you may think it's too late to be wintry, but it really isn't. You you can get snow as far as, as late as May if if, if you've got the if if you've got the absolute right conditions. You, you can get snow as late as May, um, because of the um fact that you, you've still got quite a bit of cold air lurking up here. So um, that's as far as to go. Tuesday, May second, twenty twenty three. I bet you yesterday's CFS run. I think a bit toned down on it today. Um, not looking so cold, but still some cool snaps in there, showing signs that it's playing with something. Although the CFS often does sort of have these cold snaps in its forecast, so um, I don't really know. But I feel like yesterday it was playing with it more anyway. And then very finally, looking at the G- GFS ten HPA temperature predictions. I'm just going to skim through this, a um, l- little bit of warming there, keeping the winds in reverse and in HPA. Um, I would, not much change as we head into um, March, pretty much the same sort of theme with PV displaced and weakened over Canada, Atlantic and Europe, and warmings over Siberia, minor ones, just keeping the PV displaced. Um, so we're in a very interesting time of the... Uh, weather, I was, I was going to say year, but yeah, it's still a very interesting, interesting time of year. Um, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back later on with our usual um, you know, update going through the models, and we'll see what they're showing for um, for the cold spell next week, what they're up to, that sort of stuff. So I'll see you then, before, before now, enjoy, enjoy your evening, and bye for now.